So it's been 60 days since Aaron Rodgers had his Achilles rupture and subsequent surgery. In this video, we're going to go into some detail about how exactly his tendon did heal and where it might be today. But first, we're going to go back to the beginning. Day one is the beginning of the inflammation stage, and that is when the original injury occurred via a trauma. Right there, a hematoma starts to form around the injury, where blood vessels near the injury site, they rupture, leading to the formation of a hematoma and a collection of blood. Next will be neutrophil infiltration where the neutrophils blood cells are the immune cells that are first to arrive they help to remove cellular debris and pathogens next are the macrophages they are activated they follow and they are promoting the removal of damaged tissue and secreting growth factors that are crucial for tissue repair days 7 through 21 this is the proliferative phase this is fibroblastic activity the fibroblasts they migrate into the site of the injury they synthesize collagen and they lead to main structural protein in the tendon next up is angiogenesis where new blood vessels are formed they supply oxygen and nutrients to the healing tissue finally there's collagen matrix formation these collagen fibers are organized in a haphazard manner during this phase and they will continue until the next phase which is the remodeling phase now this is where Aaron Rodgers is now because the remodeling phase it lasts anywhere from weeks to months after the injury he's 60 days out putting him at just eight weeks now so that's approximately two months. The first step is collagen realignment. The collagen fibers undergo remodeling to align along the lines of the mechanical stress and enhance the tendon strength. Then tendon maturation. The newly formed tissue matures, gaining strength and functionality. Cellular turnover. The cell populations transition from inflammation cells to tenocytes. These are specialized cells responsible for maintaining the tendon structure. Now remember, Aaron is in the middle of a bunch of functional rehab he has made mention that it is a crucial stage in the rehab process that they don't want to make any uh, mistakes any setbacks or anything like that but remember he is making very significant gains in his rehab so stepping back the surgery and the intervention we know that he had a surgery like a couple days right after his injury it was a speed bridge sur surgery I have done a bunch of videos about that so we don't need to go into super detail about it other than he did have a surgery right after the injury and he immediately started his rehabilitation process and the post-surgical rehab have for this it starts with immobilization so this is the initial start after the tendon rupture and then the surgery where the repaired tendon may be immobilized to protect the surgical site sometimes it's two weeks sometimes it's more it really depends on the person and the team working on him also how the injury occurred next up is gradual mobilization this is where physical therapy starts with gentle range of motion exercises and progresses to a more intense strengthening exercise routine finally load management. The controlled loading ensures that the tendon healing adapts to the increasing mechanical stresses. Remember, Aaron has been very clear that he is stressing, not stretching the tendon. And that's exactly what he's doing. And that is exactly in line with the rehabilitation protocol. All right, next up is moving on to the full repair and functional recovery. All right, hopefully this is where Aaron Rodgers is heading and he can get back on the field. That is gonna happen over the next several months. The tendon will continue to undergo continuous remodeling. It will transition from scar tissue to a more organized structure. Things like ultrasound, platelet-rich plasma, massage, all kinds of functional rehab and proprioceptive therapy can help organize this and get it stronger, faster, quicker and hopefully back to the pre-injury state the final result is going to be a repaired tendon with improved strength and functionality aaron Rodgers can gradually return to normal activities with the goal of achieving pre-injury function and that is playing football the sport we love all right remember the specifics of tendon healing vary from person to person we are talking about one individual only mr aaron Rodgers himself the qb that is looking to set the standard in terms of achilles rupture surgical recovery and return to play in a rapid amount of time it is not for everyone this surgery is not for everyone this rehab is not for everyone every injury is different but this is going to happen specifically for aaron Rodgers. we will continue to watch this i appreciate you watching thanks and have a wonderful night